Hi everyone, Mike Allager from FullAccessSports.com and this week it's a double feature. One on each side of me and this is kind of, if, if I was Josh Dean I might be back here at quarterback. That's kind of what it looks like in front right there with these two big guys up front. Two of the Bearcat offensive linemen, a couple of big guys, Anthony Scalercio and Taylor Reeder. Uh, a couple of one to three year starters depending on how much you uh, want to talk about. You know, no matter how hard you try, you can't run an offense without guys up front. As one brave soul has said many times, it all starts up front on the offensive line and with these two guys they're just a part of the, the contingent but Anthony and, and Taylor one of the reasons we have the success we have with averaging over 500 yards this year with a new offense with a new quarterback with everything a little brand new a little spiffed up and a little different is the play you guys have had and I'm gonna start with the big guy Taylor here uh, I'm just gonna ask you, you you talk about playing this position when you had to make the transition from that fly to what you're doing now was it that much of a deal um, not really. I mean, we use the same concepts. We use the same technique as we would uh, if we were doing the fly offense. So it really wasn't that hard. It was just putting your mind to it and getting it done. And getting it done. Same with you, I assume? Yeah, definitely. You know, it was uh, pretty much the same thing. We, uh, I played tackle last year, so moving to guard was actually a great transition for me. I, uh, you know, knew a lot of, most of the footwork, so, you know, it was actually uh, beneficial for me to move down inside, so. There was talk that for a while you might even be in the new center if, if Keenan Fatea was at the center. <laughs> yeah, I was messing around there in the center for a while, and then uh, during fall camp, you know, I moved back out to tackle and was like, you know, I kind of like this, and then coach was like, hey, why don't you try for guard? I'm like, all right, I'll try it out, and fell back in love with it, so. Anything to keep on the field is usually what it's all yeah. about, really. When we talk about when you get out here, you're not given these positions. You were a starter last year, but with a new coach, you've got to earn your positions, and it wasn't easy. No, nope, definitely not. Um, the coaches always talk about having fresh eyes and uh, seeing uh, if the young underclassmen, like the sophomores, are, are better than the seniors. So it was definitely uh, it was a battle for my spot. I mean, it wasn't given to me, that's for sure. You know, I, I saw when you went out earlier uh, last week against Linfield, you have a very capable guy that backed you up. So obviously someone is looking to take your spot if you go down. Oh, yeah, definitely. Ryan Springer's doing a great job. You know, like he's one of the guys we can always count on to back us up. If, you know, someone goes down, he plays both guards, you know, so... Um, you know, like I feel comfortable if I go, if someone goes down, you know, he can take my position, you know, something to back us up. But other than that, you know, I'm still going to be gunning for it. So, <laughs> for, for maybe the uninformed out there, you have your center like I am. If I was snapping the football, these would be guards, and the guys on outside of them would be tackles. You play both positions, primarily you. How? What's the difference between the guard and the tackle for the uninformed? What what kind of a what kind of a different thing do you have to do? Well, uh, playing tackle was a crazy transition for me last year. Um, played guard all my life, so I'm used to quick set you know quick little inside things where I'm not worried about depth more like just the width of the pocket and so or I'm, I'm more about the depth of the pocket not the width um, and you know Am I confusing you? No. Okay. Uh, as tackle, you know, you're, it's all about giving ground on pass protection. Okay. You know, whereas a guard, it's more hang tough, you know, sitting there. You know, tackle. Stay, stay in the middle. Yeah. And, you know, tackle, you know, this island by yourself. You know, guard, you got help on both sides, you know. So mm -hmm. it's a lot more comfortable for me, at least. But, you know. Tackles a different kind of breed of people. Breeders does a great job with that. So I was going to ask you about pulling guards in just a second. Now, do you agree about that island life he's talking about? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you you have a lot of pressure on you as tackle. I mean, you're always put against the defensive end on a on a pass play, and if you make one mistake, I mean, it could end up in a sack, which we don't want that. But. And that mistake usually is getting turned around, and they beat you by going one side or the other, and you can't reach out and stop them. Yep, pretty much. Well, when we talk about what you guys are doing out there, having a lot of success, and it's got to make you feel good when Josh has success when you've held those guys off so we can get that pass off. Yeah, I mean, Josh is doing a great job this season. Um, we're giving him the time to throw the ball, and he's getting him to those wide receivers as quick as possible. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he's been doing good. You bet. Well, one of the things you are here for is to be that student, and you're going to be hanging the helmets up one of these days soon. Yep. When you finally do that, when you finally get that piece of parchment paper from Willamette University, Anthony, what is one of those things you're going to be doing with yours, or do you know yet? Yeah, um, you know, I've looked into a lot of law enforcement, so when I get my degree, I plan, you know, um, applying for the uh, DEA Academy, so, you know, I want to work for federal government. That's my mm -hmm. main goal. But um, we'll see how it goes, you know. I'm very excited for it. And Taylor? Um, well, I'm looking into being an actuary for an investment company. Um, something in that area, whether it's business or insurance. Mm -hmm. So, yep. 
Well, one of the things we've learned, and I know that if you've ever played in anything that's really tough, it's mental, it's physical, military training in a wartime situation, which I was never in, but almost in the trenches here when you talk about football, you develop a lot of camaraderie with the guys that you're with, especially the guys that are doing the job you're with, but everybody, all 11 guys plus the backups. Talk about the camaraderie on the team, uh, Taylor, that has been developed maybe since you've been here. Um, well, besides practice, I mean, I look forward to just coming in the locker room with the guys and just, you know, hanging out before practice, you know, talking about how their day's going, like what they're up to, um, just just that kind of stuff that really makes us closer as an offensive line. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it sh definitely shows out in practice and during the games. And I know a lot of memories are built with that, but the camaraderie, the memories, what are you going to take away from this? What has happened to you since you've been a Bearcat? Well, I've only been, this is my second year being a Bearcat, so and I'm a senior this year, you know, I transferred in. So, but, you know, like obviously, you know, coming in, it was it was really easy to get with the close with these guys, you know, the camaraderie, you know, between all of us. You know, you come in, you mess around, joke around with a couple guys, you know, and then, you know, we come in, you know, obviously we're screwed around, but then we come on the field, you know, we're serious, but we all got each other's back always. You know, that was the thing, it was like, you know, as even as the new guy, it was like, you know, this guy messes around with you, let's go get him kind of thing. So, yeah. you know, I'm taking away a lot of, you know, a lot of good friends, a lot of good memories from this whole situation. And, and one of the memories was hopefully to be playoffs. It's not to be two games to go and we can get an eight-win season, something we haven't had in a while. This is really an exciting time in Bearcat land, despite the fact the playoffs really aren't going to happen, Taylor. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> that's all we're trying to go for to end the season as eight and two. It'll be a large step up from last season, and it'll definitely uh, end, end the season on a high note rather than a low note. And, and the same for you. I'd imagine in some way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, finish eight and two. You know, because that's a successful season. It's unfortunate we're not going to go to playoffs, but you know, I feel so feel you know eight and two is a great way to end the year, and um, you know, not not just you know for us, but also for the incoming classmen. You know, it's a good you know you know statement to make. You know, you know, we we are a successful team. You know, for especially for recruits coming in. So, so I would agree with you. Yeah, Anthony Scalercio, Taylor Rito are a couple of bookends that you want to be protected by if by chance you have a helmet in the football on the offensive line. These guys have done a great job this year. They're part of the spirit of the Bearcats. And with Mr. Reeder and Mr. Scalercio, I'm Mike Oliger. Thanks for joining us, everyone, right here on FullAccessSports.com.